there's so many things in one piece that you can label spectacles extravaganzas just moments in time that you have to sit back and analyze the story and really wonder what the heck is going on and i think wano so far especially the raid on onigashima has produced these moments time and time and time again and it's not just one linear thing it's several things and because the one piece chapters are jam-packed with action or just things going on sometimes it's hard to focus or hone in on one thing so today we're going to focus on luffy's possible awakening but not in the way that you think well for that what i want you guys to hone in on is that subscribe button yep subscribe to that channel for more content like this because we're going to be talking about luffy and a particular thing that i think oda is trying to set up and i think it makes sense based on the chronological order of what's been transpiring and i think it's been lost in the shuffle just based off of how many things again has been packed into the one piece chapters but don't let you subscribe to the channel get lost in this shuffle, okay? Subscribe, drop a like as well. So now let's talk about what I plan to talk about, which is Luffy and his awakening. So when you talk about Luffy and you talk about awakening, people always assume you're talking about devil fruit. In this instance, I'm not talking about his devil fruit. I'm talking about his awakening as Joy Boy. So for the most part, we should know the history of Joy Boy, right? Someone that existed 800 years ago during the Void Century and they made it to Laugh Tale, left behind a story that Roger enjoyed and it made him wish that he would, would have been able to meet Joy Boy or live in the same era as Joy Boy. The thing that's most important though is the fact that he apologized to Fishman Island because he was not able to fulfill his promise. And that promise involved the Noah and therefore because of his promise that in turn made Fishman Island promise to Joy Boy that they were going to protect protect the Noah. So this has led to much speculation. Who will be the next Joy Boy? Is it a reincarnation? Is somebody born as the new Joy Boy? Or is somebody just inheriting his will? I'm leaning towards inheriting will and more than likely that's who Luffy is. Now whatever this thing is, whatever Joy Boy was supposed to do, it involves Shirohoshi because that was explained when Roger and Rayleigh, Roger and Odin, really was there as well but they went to fishman island and, and madam shirley and neptune based on everything they said the inclination was that princess shirohoshi she was going to be born and she was going to have the power to control the sea kings being poseidon factoring in what roger and Rayleigh talk about in regards to them being too early and of course odin opening wano for joy boy you would assume that luffy is joy boy and that whatever joy boy was meant to do luffy is going to fulfill that but shirohoshi is needed and based off of what transpired with momonosuke and the logbook he is needed as well so he can't afford to die but then what does this have to do with one piece chapter 1015 what transpired recently well recently in a chapter and i've been seeing some people talk about it in a negative light they did not like the fact that luffy unconsciously but consciously used the voice of all things why is it a voice of all things well, nothing else makes sense. Luffy was able to communicate to Momonosuke and also communicate to the Polar Tang and John Bard and those guys while being underwater. This is really significant because this gives us a glimpse into the future of what Luffy will be able to do. That's why I said Luffy is awakening because I think he's fully realizing his abilities as Joy Boy. We can't forget leading up to this moment all the things that transpired. The term voices is something that Oda has put in the story here and there and something that Sandman A he mentioned and i want to bring it up here because i think it's important i was gonna talk about it in a separate video but i was like you know what we're gonna wait for the right moment and i think the right moment is right now sandman talks about special font and when oda decides to use special font and highlight certain things that let you know this is important and in one piece chapter 1009 when kaido mentioned that their voices hadn't gone out after conquest of the sea then also in one piece chapter 1012 when momonosuke mentioned that there were only two voices left that there were two voices still out there the word voices was highlighted so in this situation special font is being used to say hey voices and that term is going to be important going forward look out for it fast forward to chapter 1015 voices has never been more important because yes you can mention asa from sky island or skypea and people talk about her that oh to forget her well hers seemed to be just regular observation hockey just spanning a wide range similar to what Rayleigh was able to do in regards to discerning the strength of the animals on riskina but in this instance voices seems to transcend what we normally know it to be momonosuke luffy odin roger voice of all things right and voice of all things seems to be the elevated ability to communicate with 
beings greater than oneself communicate control understand etc that's what roger and odin was able to do underwater and momonosuke and shirohoshi again they were on another level because they could communicate with for shirohoshi the sea kings for momonosuke zunisha we remember in wano as well right with momonosuke when he talked about how luffy was feeling saying luffy he's okay he could understand what luffy was feeling and personally i think the reason why he could do it was because he could understand or read luffy's mind in some way somewhat similar to kobe and how kobe could hear the voices of the people on marine ford the people that were dying the voices that were leaving etc the only thing is that in chapter 1000 well before then because momonosuke was crying out asking who is it luffy was now talking back so before with luffy in the voice of all things he could understand and hear zunisha hear the sea kings has luffy awakened a similar ability to momonosuke what i'm saying is luffy before could not communicate to zunisha right because he did understand how to communicate back luffy at this point because of you know and with the straw hats we know when they're defeated they come back stronger luffy at this point he's communicating via telepathy and he's letting momonosuke know consciously even though it seems he seems to be unconscious that he is going to defeat kaido and he will be fine and he did the same thing by communicating to john bart and the members of the fodder pirates on the polo tang he did that consciously now this is a bit different but luffy while being unconscious did something that you would consider conscious which is after kaido knocked him out he was glaring at kaido and kaido's like yo i feel his presence it's like his indomitable will even though he's knocked out so luffy being knocked out that's not something new but this this is another level because this is elevating luffy in my mind now this could be just a one-time thing but i doubt it because voices again has been so important in this arc especially in the recent chapters what does this mean for the future of the story if luffy is able to now communicate with multiple members on the battlefield where he can have them feel his will feel what he's thinking that in some ways is what luffy already does but it's amplified because now he's truly like bella betty because they can hear him they can hear his thoughts or if luffy has truly elevated to another level like on the level of shirahoshi and momonosuke where he can now communicate to other beings but again this time he's communicating to humans it is weird but here's the thing, Luffy communicating to people could just be the missing piece. Where we have Momonosuke, we have Shirohoshi, and you have Luffy. Where he's the one in the middle that can communicate to Shirohoshi and communicate to Momonosuke to complete whatever task. Let's say Momonosuke is trying to tell Zunisha something, and Shirohoshi is trying to talk to the Sea Kings. Who could be the person to bring that all together? I mean, obviously Luffy can now because he can not only hear the Sea Kings, not only hear Zunisha, but now he can communicate back to Shirohoshi and he can communicate back to Momonosuke while they're communicating via telepathy. Now, again, all this we don't understand yet, but I think this is the beginning of the awakening for Luffy, elevating to a certain point, not only in regards to strength, that's not important here, but towards the end game of the story. Remember, Kaido has hinted, hey, you're not Joy Boy either. Did he say that because he threw Luffy in the water to see how he would respond to it? Does Kaido Kaido have the ability of the voice of all things as well because he specifically mentioned voices or is Oda just using that word to throw us off just to give us the idea or inkling that Kaido could have some idea of what he's talking about. Remember when Kaido said to Luffy, the more you get riled up, the more you smile, then the more you smile, the more you dot dot dot, where a lot of people felt like that could be an inclination in regards to Joy Boy. So it's so many different things, but I, I felt like it was necessary to address this awakening and what Luffy could possibly do in the future because this is very important. What Luffy did is not normal. He was able to communicate okay to momonosuke i understand they both have the voice of all things you understand there could be a channel there and oda has been hinting towards that throughout the arc in regards to momonosuke understanding luffy how he's feeling where he is how kaido feels the voices but for john bart and the others understanding luffy and not only that for luffy to communicate directly to momonosuke while being underwater that is next level and it's really scary because the possibilities are endless but guys give me your thoughts i know i said a lot but what do you think about it is it crazy? I don't think so because Luffy, in my opinion, it's 100% confirmed. He's Joy Boy. Not literally, but I think he's inheriting his will. And whatever this ability is, it's going to be necessary towards the end game of One Piece and whatever Joy Boy was supposed to do with the Sovereigns, specifically Shirohoshi and whomever else. But guys, give me a thoughts. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Guys, like, subscribe, and I shall catch you in the next one. Peace.
I start doubting me, I felt lost. I rewrite it.